excuse me, Caden Matson as well. Caden yeah. Matson, a, a senior, and he's gonna he can light him up too. Yeah, that's the thing. They've got a good inside-out game. They got some size in there that you have to pay attention to, but they're very good at kicking it out uh, for their perimeter shooters. So, like I say, Cal's gonna have to be sharp in all phases of the game tonight. And this is our second game here this week. We're going to be back on the air tomorrow night here from Callis High School. It's going to be a girls matchup. And then back again on Friday evening here from Callis. There are four games here right now. Also a game going on on WCRQ. That's Jonesboro Beals at Woodland Girls Action, I believe that is. And also going on on WCRQ, there's also a big game. I believe it's Ellsworth at Washington Academy Boys. So a lot of basketball this week here in Washington County. And also, this game is available online. Go on WQDY.FM. Click on the basketball banner at the top, then click on WQDY, and you can also listen to the game online. Three official system for this evening, Mr. Ayers, Mr. Stewart, and Mr. Ferry on hand tonight. Decent crowd. I was a little timid here, Mike, when we came in. It didn't look like there was going to be much of a crowd, but it's filled in pretty good. Yeah, it on has. The so, side. Yeah, you're right, Jeff. There's a lot of a uh, lot of other things going on. Uh, ball games in the area. So, uh, and with the weather that we had earlier today, you never know about that. But uh, boy, it's uh, it's nice to see the Callis uh, the uh, people coming out and supporting the boys and girls team this year and of course the band i mean the band is spectacular it's worth the price of admission just to come and listen to them <laughs> yeah the band had a few days off and it's great to have them back here they always had a lot to this game and one thing i noticed i think it was the last game they were here is they actually didn't just play until the first half they actually played throughout the game so yes. that's always nice too yeah i hope they keep doing that right now we're going to name the non-starters first of all for the george stevens academy eagles Number five, Austin Snow. Number 12, Ryan Mullen. Number 13, Nathan Dock. Number 20 is Bryce Snyder. Number 23, Gage Aspie. 31 is Harrison Walden. Number 41, Dexter Brown. And number 43, Nick Steinberger. For Callis, their non-starters look like this. Number one is Jace Cook. Number 20, John Furtak. Number 22, Cameron Kelly. Number 35 is Matt Dana. Number 42, Sebastian Moore. Number 34, Tyler Furtak. Those are your non-starters. Now let's take a clear look at tonight's starting lineup. Brought to you by Callis Eye Care, by Sunrise Eye Care and Callis and Giants. Let Sunrise Eye Care help you see everything more clearly. Call 454-2277 in Callis or 255-4461 today in Machias for an appointment. Now here's your Sunrise Eye Care starting lineup. First of all, for the visitors, the number two ranked 8-0 George Stevens Academy Eagles, coached by Dwayne Carter. Their starters look like this. Number three, he's a junior, Michael Moon. Number 11, a senior for George Stevens Academy is Caden Matson. Number 15, a sophomore, David Gadsby. Number 21, a sophomore, Teague Smallage. Smallage. And number 35 is let me see if I, I want to make sure I get this there right. You go. You're on the clock. A lot of pressure <laughs> on me right now. Number 35 is Milos Sweetsa. Sweetsa. Yeah. Milos Sweetsa. Nailed it. Milos Sweetsa. <laughs> Sweet. One. For the Dallas Blue Devils, three and four, their record right number 11, Northern Maine Class C. This will look like this. Number three, a senior, Kyle Richards. Number four, a senior, Dawson Critchley. Number 12, a junior, Tony Dana. Number 14, a junior, J.D. Turner. And rounding up the starters for Callers, it is number 30, Mason Ritchie. So it's Ritchie, Turner, Dana, Critchley, and Richards going up against Moon, Matson, Gadsby, Smallage, and Sweetsa. Sweetsa. We're going to rise now for the National Anthem by the Kellis High School Pep Band. Great to see them back here. As Mike, you were saying, as they always had a lot to the game, really get the crowd involved, too.
once again an excellent job on the national anthem by the Catalyst High School pep band. As we mentioned, a good, good crowd on hand tonight. And hopefully, Mike, I should be winning the 50-50 draw. Now, I'm not, I can't swear to that. But hopefully, I will be winning it. Here we go. Come on. Nope. Again. What is going on here? What crazy thing is going on here? Hopefully, this will work out right now. Hello. Let's try that. I'm going to move some stuff around here for Mike. A little bit of a problem, but I think we can take care of it right there. Or not. Nope. I think it's right in the cable. Oh. There we go. And with that first ball by George Stevens Academy, they get down and put two up very, very quickly. Callis with the basketball. Inside, shot's going to be around and good that time by Dawson Critchley. Two to two's your score. Back the other way, shot's going to be up, off, no good. Rebound's going to be pulled down. Quickly out on top of the key. Shot's going to be fired up. Off. No good. Rebound tapped around one more time. Matson from outside. It's going to be no good. And Callis grabs a loose ball with the board. Was Richie back the other way they go. Just underway a minute into this contest. Two to two is your score. With a basketball. It is Critchley. Try to penetrate. Couldn't do it. Kicks it back out. Back over to Critchley one more time. Gets by one defender. Gets him in the air. Up off glass and good. Callis on top, four to two. And right quickly back the other way is four to four. Now with the basketball on the far side. Chris Lee with it. Tried to penetrate, couldn't do it. Kicks it back over. Outside with it is Richie. Richie puts it in. Up off glass, no good. Quick outlet pass all the way down it goes to Gatsby. Up off glass, good, and the foul. I'm going to try to sneak around here by Michael. If we work on a couple different things here on our headset. Don't you hate it when you lose a headset right in the middle or beginning of a game, Mike? We'll keep trying to work on it a little bit during the game. Sorry about that. And let's see, there's going to be a timeout on the court. So 7-4, to four, George Stevens Academy on top. We're back to Cowles High School after this. It all began in 1955 with one man, one truck, and a vision. The original idea was simple. If a home heating company could provide first-rate personal service, it could earn the trust of customers one at a time. It wasn't a new idea, but that style of doing business made sense to families in Washington County. Today, VL Tamaro is making sense to more families all the time. Big enough to handle all your heating needs, small enough to earn your trust the old-fashioned way with first-rate service close to home. In Woodland, call 427-3775. In Calis, Call 454-7500. Your home heating, VL Tamaro. And welcome back, everyone, to Callis High School. Callis with the basketball, trailing 7-4. to four. Inside he goes. Dana, shot's going to be up off glass. No good. Ball tapped around. Still tapped around. Loose ball's going to be picked up by Riches for Callis. Riches with it. Over it goes. Richie tried to penetrate. Ball's blocked. Foul is going to be called on George Stevens Academy. Still making a few adjustments here. Second foul side also good, so it's seven to six. 5.58 to go here in the first quarter of Callis High School. Callis trailing by one. George Stevens Academy coming in 8-0. With the basketball on the far side. Long three-pointer is going to be off the side of the iron. No good that time by Gadsby. Back the other way we go. 
Callis with a chance to take the lead. On the far side, he goes to Dana. Dana kicks it out on top. Richards with it. Richards, far side, Turner for three. That's going to be off, no good. Rebound, hustle. Ball's loose on the floor. Coming away with it is going to be Godsby. All the way down it goes. Shot by Moon. It's going to be up and good for two. Nine to six is your score. Callis on top. 5.15 to go here in the opening quarter at Callis High School. Rich Critchley with a basketball. Critchley still with it. Kicks it back out. Dana tried to penetrate. Couldn't do it. That's going to be a foul from behind on George Stevens Academy. And that foul that time is going to be on... Sweetsa. You're going to hear Mike in the background here as we continue to try to work on his mic a little bit. That foul on Sweetsa will be his first. Callis almost lost the ball. Now to give it over to Critchley. Somehow he got it. Got it underneath. Shot's going to be up and good. I don't know how we got the shot off. Eight to nine. Callis trailing by one. With the basketball. Gatsby has it knocked away. Pick back up. Sweetsa foul is going to be on Callis. Let's see if we can pick that up. That foul is going to be on number four, Critchley. That'll be his first. Callis, second team foul. With the basketball will be George Stevens Academy. Sweeps it with it. Tried to penetrate. Kicks it over. Left hand side. Smallage. Smallage. Guarded out there by Richie. Nowhere to go. He's going to get the shot off. And it's going to be short. Ball saved. Nice save that time by George Stevens. Callis back with the basketball though. Three on one break. Underneath it goes. Richards up off the front of the iron. No good. Just rolls off the front of the iron. Long down court pass. Back he goes. Shot's going to be up and good that time by Madsen. And George Stevens Academy is looking to run on every possession. 11 to 8 right now. George Stevens Academy by three. Ball's tapped away. With the basketball, though, Critchley regains possession. In the corner, and that time zigged and zagged. The ball went behind out of play. Turnover goes to George Stevens Academy. 4.05 to go in the opening quarter. It's 11 to 8 right now. With the basketball is George Stevens Academy. Bring it up. Matson with it. Matson tries to penetrate in the paint. Shot's going to be up good and the foul. So quick, quick take to the basket that time. Goodbye, the defender. And that foul is going to be on Kyle Richards for Callis. Callis' third team foul. That's going to be the second foul on Knowles. Check that. They're going to say that's going to be on Critchley, which will be his second foul. 3 point play is good by Madsen. Six point lead right now for George Stevens Academy. 3.53 to go in the opening quarter. Richards with it. Richards gives it over to Critchley. Critchley still with the basketball. Over to Richards. Richards squares for three. That's going to be off no good. Rebound tapped around. Sweetsa with the board. Back the other way we go. Sweetsa still with it. Gets it all the way down. Step back. Gatsby for three. That's going to be off no good. Rebound pulled down by Callis' J.D. Turner. Still with the basketball. Still with the dribble. Going to have to find someone. He does. Out on top. He goes to Critchley. Dawson Critchley gets it underneath. Ball's on the floor. Almost thrown away. Tie up. Alternating possession will be Callis with 317 to go in the opening quarter. 14 to 8. George Stevens Academy up by six. Callis with the basketball underneath their own basket. Bounce pass comes in. The ball's going to be thrown away. Gadsby with it. One on three. Gets by the defense. Lays it up off glass and good. Good take that time by Gadsby. The coach was saying, no, no, no. Good shot. Back the other way with it. Callis, tight, tight defense here. Tenacious defense by George Stevens Academy. In the paint, shot's going to be off, no good. Rebounds will be ripped down by Critchley. He'll get to draw the foul, and he will be going, let's say this guy, it's going to be on the rebounding action. So with 2.53 to go here in the first quarter, 16 to 8, that foul is going to be on, well, let's see, George Stevens Academy's Suiza. That's the second one, Mike, right? Wow. That's a big foul on George Stevens Academy. Inbounds pass comes in. Turn around, shot in the paint by Richie is good. Nice move by Richie. 
That ends a little mini run for George Stevens Academy. 2.43 to go here in this first quarter at Callis High School with the basketball. Gatsby gets it on the ball. be stolen away by Callis. J.D. Turner with the steal. Back comes Chris Lee with it. Loose on the floor. Still loose on the floor. Gonna have to find someone. And the ball is loose. Tapped away again. Now Callis comes away with it somehow. Richards with it. Richards gives it over. And that's going to be a travel call as Richie had nowhere to go that time. So turnover goes back to George Stevens, 16 to 10, six point lead with the ball. Furtak will check in as Critchley will have a break for Callis with 2.21 to go in the first quarter. Six point advantage for George Stevens Academy. The undefeated George Stevens Academy Eagles. Quickly back the other way, shot's going to be off, no good. One and done, Dana with the board for Callis. Tony Daniel with the board, back the other way we go. J.D. Turner with it, gets it in the corner to Richards. Inside to turn to Dana, and he's gonna draw the foul. And that foul's gonna be on number 11, Caden Matson. That's his first, team's fourth, with 2.04 to go. Now we're set. Underneath their own basket, they get it in. J.D. Turner with it. Turner is going to, running one hand, is going to be off, no good. Ball's tapped around. Rebound is by Moon back the other way. Comes Matson with it. Matson kicks it in the corner, and that's going to be a travel. Turnover goes back to Callis. Minute 53 to go in the first quarter, 16 to 10. Callis trailing by six with the basketball. Moore will check in for the next opportunity for Callis. He waits at the scorer's table with the basketball is Turner. Turner still with the dribble. Gives it over to Dana. Dana bounce pass goes inside to Richie. Richie in the paint gets by the defender, has a block. Rebound back up. Shots gonna be off. No good. Rebound one more time. Up and good that time by Richie. Back the other way, four point lead right now. Running one hitter in the paint, it's gonna be off, no good. Rebound, one and done. Turner with the board. A quick outlet, and Cowell's gonna grab the outlet. Throw attack with it. It's bumped from behind. That's gonna be a foul on Joyce Stevens Academy. So a 16 to 12, four point lead right now for the Eagles. And that foul is gonna be on number 15, which is Gosby. That's gonna be his first 15 foul. And quickly coming back into the ball game is Smallage. Callis with the basketball. Richards with it. Minute 15 to go in the first quarter. Turner with it. Now it goes over to Furtek. Back over it goes one more time to Turner. Out on top. We're down to a minute five. Screen outside. Furtek gets by. One up and good. Nice move that time by Furtek. Little hesitation dribble. Lays it in for two. And it's a two-point ball game. 16 to 14. We're down to 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. Gonsby with it. Out on top, he goes to Snow, who's checked in. Now back to Matson. Over the right-hand side, he goes. Smallage all the way. Skip pass over. Three-pointer is going to be fired up. No good. One and done for George Stevens Academy. Callis with the basketball. Chance to tie it up or go ahead with a three-point play. Protect with it. Goes over to Turner. Turner still with the basketball in the corner. He goes to Richie. Back over to Richards. Out on top one more time. Callis running their offense. Over to Furtak one more time. We're down to 20 seconds. Moore with it. Moore gets the screen. It's by one defender. He's going to throw it into the hands of a defender for George Stevens Academy. Credit Matson with the steal. Back the other way they go. Matson in the paint. Running shots going to be off. No good. Rebound by Turner. Six seconds to go. Cowell's going to have to try to get down and get a shot off. Three-pointer is going to be off. No good. And that's going to end the first quarter of Callis High School. 16 to 14, George Evans Academy by two. We're back after this on Classic Hits. Delivering on a promise to keep families comfortable year round. That's Dead River Company, family owned for over 100 years and proud to serve all of Washington County with reliable heating oil and propane delivery. 24 hour responsive emergency service and energy efficient heating equipment installation. Dead River Company, when you need us, we'll be there. With offices serving Washington. Washington County in Callis, Machias, and Eastport. Find us online at deadriver.com.
Sunrise Eye Care, Washington County's only full-service optometrist office with two convenient locations in Callis and Machias. Offering all the latest technology along with a highly trained staff, Sunrise Eye Care can take care of all your vision needs. We offer a complete pair of value line single vision eyeglasses for $150. Some restrictions apply. Call for an appointment with one of our three optometrists in Callis at 454-2277 or in Machias at 255-4461. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. Remember, at Sunrise Eye Care, we can't wait to see you. Welcome back, everyone, to Callis High School. Mike's still working on his mic. With the basketball is George Stevens Academy. Moon with it. Underneath, shot's going to be off. No good. Rebound. Back up and good that time by Moon. Moon dished it off to Snow. Snow couldn't connect. Moon was there for the offensive board. Back up to a four-point lead, 18-14. to 14. Just underway here in the second quarter at Callis High School. Callis with the basketball. Furtek with it. Furtek's going to stop. Pop. It's going to be off. No good. One and done for Callis as Matson grabs a rebound for George Stevens Academy. Back the other way we go. They're going to let him have that three. And that's something they don't want to do as he nails that one. 21 to 14. Five straight points coming up in the second quarter for George Stevens Academy. Moore with the basketball. Moore gives it over the far side. Fur attack with it. Fur attack. Nowhere to go. Bounce pass inside to Moore. Ball's going to be stolen away. Loose on the floor. Callis Richards come away with it. Fur attack's going to fire the three. That's going to be off. No good. Matson with the board. They look to push it back the other way. Moon gets the pass. Takes it to the hole. Off. No good. Rebound. Fought for Moon was out of bounds. Came back in. Turnover goes back to Callis. Substitutes coming in as Chris Lee comes back in for Callis. Also, Tony Dana checking back in. We have a short in Mike's headset if you're wondering why I'm doing this by myself. Don't worry, at halftime, I'm giving him, I might let him give it the whole second half. With the basketball, Turner. Turner takes it to the hole. A little bit too strong. Rebound, one and done. Smallage. Back the other way. Madsen with it. Madsen's going to take it in. Shots up and good. Running one-hander. Floats it in for two. 23 to 14. The George Stevens Academy comes out. Seven straight points. Now they build up to their biggest lead of the game. Nine-point lead. Callis with it. Rich is going to fire the three from the corner. It's going to be off. No good. Long rebound. Chase down, though. Good job by Aspie. Underneath shot's going to be up and good. And that's going to be a timeout on the court. So a goodbye move. We played... Two minutes here in the second quarter, and it's been all George Stevens Academy. Nine straight points. We're back to Callis High School after this. Congratulations to all Washington County boys and girls high school basketball teams from your friends at Federal Marine Terminal in Eastport. Your accomplishments both on and off the court, as well as the way you represent your school, your city, your town, and all of Washington County, makes us all very proud to be included as some of your many fans. Good luck to all student athletes in today's game, and best of luck in your quest for the gold ball from your friends at Federal Marine Terminal in Eastport. Are you having difficulty paying for medical and dental care? Eastport Healthcare can help. Depending on your income and family size, a sliding fee scale decides how much you and your family will pay for medical and dental services. For more information and required proof of income, call Elaine Abbott at Eastport Healthcare today at 853-0189. You can also ask for a sliding fee application at the front desk at Eastport Healthcare, 30 Boynton Street in Eastport. The number again is 853-0189. Eastport Healthcare is an equal opportunity employer and provider. Welcome back, everyone, to Callis High School. Jeff Demons and Mike Ellis here, courtside. And it's been all George Stevens Academy the first two minutes of this second quarter. 25 to 14 right now is your score. Is a lead by nine. Turner with it. Turner gives it over to Dana. Dana, power moving the paint's going to be off no good. Off the front of the iron. Rebound pulled down by Moon. Back the other way we go. Madsen with it. Madsen still with the dribble. Out on top it goes to Moon. Moon has it knocked away. Stolen away by Cal. Now loose on the floor. Good job that time by Richie. With the basketball. Turner with it. Turner looks for somebody open. Gives it over in the paint. Bang. Off glass and good by Critchley. And that ends a little mini run for George Stevens Academy. Back the other way for three. Off the front of the iron is no good. Rebound pulled down by Critchley. Back the other way we go. Nice pass underneath. Shot's going to be up and good by Richards. So after the timeout by Coach Darren Constant, four straight points by Callis. Takes it back down to a seven-point ball game. 
almost thrown away. Picked back up, though. Out on top of the basketball. Shot's going to be off. No good. Rebound. One and done. One more time for Callis. Callis with the rebound. Turner with it. Turner's going to throw one header in the paint. Off glass and good. Six straight points for Callis. Down to a five-point ball game, 25 to 20. Because when you thought George Stevens Academy might be pulling away, all of a sudden Callis calls a timeout, scores six straight points. Four and a half to go here in the first half at Callis High School with the basketball. Out on top it goes to Moon. Moon kicks it over the right-hand side. Snow for three. That's going to be off the glass and good that time. 28 to 20. It's an eight-point lead right now. Turner with it. Turner gives it over to Dana. Turner's going to stop, pop the three. That's going to be off the back of the iron. No good. One and done. Foul from behind on Callis. And let's see that foul is going to be on Kyle Richards. That's only the fourth Callis team foul. Second foul on Richards, though. Compared to five fouls for George Stevens Academy. Check that. It's the fourth foul on Callis. That'll give George Stevens Academy the basketball back. 4.04 to go here in this first half at Callis High School. Don't forget, at halftime, it'll be the Duncan Halftime Stat Show. Inside, Madison, shot up and good. And quickly, there's going to be another timeout. Coach Constance says, let's talk it over again. 30 to 20, 10-point lead. We're back to Callis High School after this. Eastern Maine Electric Co-op is a customer-owned, not-for-profit electric utility. That means decisions are made by and for people whose lives are invested in the communities we serve. But your locally-owned co-op is also part of a national network of electric co-ops serving three-quarters of the country's land mass. By sharing resources and expertise, these co-ops can not only cut costs and improve service, but also offer programs like the Co-op Connections Card, which has saved EMEC members over $350,000 on prescriptions alone. Eastern Maine Electric, locally owned and proudly serving Maine for over 70 years. Welcome back everyone to Callis High School. Jeff Demons, Mike Ellis here courtside. 20 to 30. 10 point lead. Two straight baskets by George Stevens Academy after Callis headed down to a five point ball game. Underneath they go. Shot's going to be up and good. Nice move by Mason Ritchie. Got both defenders in the air. Put it up off the glass for two. So, so far it's been two good timeouts for Coach Darren Constant. He came out to six off the first one, come out and scored the first basket off that one. And with a basketball, with it. Gusby, Gusby shot's gonna be up and good. Wow, in traffic, put that up and laid it. Two callous defenders did not bother him one bit. Turner with it for Callis, trailing by 10, 32, 22. Underneath they go, Dana, Dana's shot's gonna be off, no good. Rebound, fought for, back up and good that time by Richie. And let's see, one of the players were down, he's, uh, and that is Gutsby. Gutsby a little shook up. The official comes over and says, okay, let's slow it down a little bit. So Nick Steinberg is gonna check in for George Stevens Academy. Steinberger. With the basketball, Godsby with it, and he's going to lose the handle. Ball's going to be, he thought it was tapped away, but he's going to lose it, so Callis basketball. 32-24, 2.50 to go here in this first half at Callis High School. With the basketball is Critchley, Critchley with the dribble, top of the key, kicked it over the left-hand side to Turner, Turner. Looking underneath, nothing doing, he's going to back it back out, says, okay, let's reset. Right inside he goes to Critchley. Critchley gets the screen. Not quite enough, almost lost the handle, gives it over. Not to Richie, Richie playing an extra ball game here for Callis so far in this contest, Turner with it. Turner in the paint, he's gonna be a reach-in foul on George Stevens Academy. We'll see who that's gonna be on. And that voice you heard was Master Rogers saying, what number? His ball very sad to walk away, so that's the foul on George Stevens. I guess you picked the number, but we're going to pick number five. And that's going to be the first foul on Snow, 16 foul. In the paint, shot's going to be off, no good. A lot of contact, no call. And let's see. And that's going to be tapped out of bounds. Last touch by George Stevens Academy. And the coach is over talking to Wayne Ayers, and Wayne says, that wasn't my call. I'm out here talking to you, buddy. Talk to the guy inside. 
flashing bounce pass comes in. Quick shot up and goodbye, Richie. So once again, this timeout by Coach Darren Constant. It paid dividends. Four straight points by Callis. Back the other way. Shot's going to be up and good. Wow, Madsen. What a move that time by Madsen. 34-26. It's an eight-point advantage for George Stevens Academy coming in. 8-0. Their record. Right number two, Northern Main Class C. Turner with it. Gives it over to Critchley. Critchley. Picks up his dribble, left-hand side he goes to Richards. Richards still with the basketball. This is it on the baseline. Richie's up, off, no good. Rebound crashing the boards that time was docked. Back the other way they go. And nice hustle that time by J.D. Turner. Knocks it out of bounds. 1.33 to go here in this first half. Don't forget, coming up at halftime, it'll be the Duncan Halftime Stats Show. Brought to you all season long by Duncan on North Street and Callison by the Dykin Machias. America and Mike and I run on Duncan. With the basketball is Snow. Austin Snow got it out on top by Turner. Kicks it out. Madsen with it. Madsen. Richards picks him up. Still with it. Minute 20 to go here in this first half. Madsen still with the basketball. Tries to get by. Couldn't do it in the corner. It goes back on top. They're going to spin it around the perimeter. Gatsby with it. Gatsby. Back over to Snow. Snow looking underneath. Nothing doing. Out on top. It goes to Steinberger. Over the left-hand side now. To Gatsby. Still with the dribble. Picks it up. High post. Smalley. Smalley's outside shot. It's going to be off. No good. Cal's kind of backed off in the rebounding action. Let's see. That's going to be a reach-in foul on Callis. Callis with three defenders in there. And the ball fell down. And just picked up that time by Smalley. That's only the sixth foul on Callis, so with 54.7 seconds to go in the first half, that'll give George Stevens a basketball underneath their own basket. The ball's almost thrown away. It is thrown away by Callis. All the way down. Shots up. Good and the foul. And what a play that time by Callis's Critchley. Dawson Critchley with the steal, took it in, got his body between him and the defender, drew the foul, and made the basket. And that foul is going to be on number 15, Gatsby. That's his second. More importantly, that takes it back to a six-point ball game. 49.1 seconds to go here in this first half. <laughs> Chris Lee's foul shot is good. Five-point ball game, 34-29. Coach Darren Constant has got to like the way his team's playing. Good hustle by Callis. Coming in, you thought they might be outmatched. Not so in the first half. This is only a five-point lead. Madsen with it is going to kick it over the left-hand side. Out on top it goes. Steinberger with it. Out on top. Everybody's touched it so far on this possession. Moon gives and go. Madsen shot's going to be off. No good. Rebound by Chrisley. Chrisley with the board, and that's going to be a foul in the back corner. That's going to put Callis on the line with a one-on-one -one situation. And one of those fouls where your coach, you're saying, no, no, we did not want that. That foul is going to be on Michael Moon. That's his first, the eighth team foul. So that'll put Dawson Critchley on the line for a one and one. First one's nothing but Matt. He'll have one more. Substitutes checking in. Furtek is going to check in. Riches will check out. 34 to 30. It's a four-point ball game. It's been as high as 11 points. Right now it's back to four. Trying to get it back to three with this foul shot. Second one's going to be up and good. Nothing but net. Two in a row for Critchley. And we're down to a three-point ball game with 20 seconds to go here in the first half. Matson with it. Left hand side. Sweetsa. Sweetsa with two fouls on him. They got him back in the game on this possession. Matson with it. Of course, Sweetsa set up an awful lot of this first half. Madsen with it one more time. Going to dish it underneath. Smalley shot's going to be up and good. And that's going to end the first half. 36 to 31 is our score. Five point lead for George Stevens Academy over Callis. Stay tuned for our halftime stat show. Brought to you all season long by Duncan on North Street in Callis and by the Dyke Machias America runs on Duncan. We're back with live second half action after these. Delivering on a promise to keep families comfortable year-round. That's Dead River Company, family-owned for over 100 years and proud to serve all of Washington County with reliable heating oil and propane delivery, 24-hour responsive emergency service, and energy-efficient heating equipment installation. Dead River Company, when you need us, we'll be there. With offices serving Washington County in Callis, Machias, and Eastport, find us online at deadriver.com. 
Congratulations to all Washington County boys and girls high school basketball teams from your friends at Federal Marine Terminal in East Ford. Your accomplishments both on and off the court as well as the way you represent your school, your city, your town, and all of Washington County makes us all very proud to be included as some of your many fans. Good luck to all student athletes in today's game and best of luck in your quest for the gold ball from your friends at Federal Marine Terminal in East Ford. Remodeling, renovating, or building new, Hammond Lumber Company will help you take the guesswork out of creating your new kitchen or bath. Bring your plans, sketches, or just your initial ideas to the design professionals at Hammond's Kitchen, Bath, and Flooring Center. Using 3D design software, Hammond's designers can show you how your project will look in several variations and help you create your new kitchen or bath right there in the store. Need a little more inspiration? Explore Hammond's complete in-store kitchen and bath showroom displays and try out their features firsthand. When you find one, you like Hammond's designers will help you make it your own from countertops to cabinets to flooring in your choice of materials and colors Hammond's professional design services are included when you purchase your materials from them and of course Hammond will deliver your order for free within striking distance of any of their 21 locations statewide creating a custom kitchen or bath is easy when you make Hammond Lumber Company your building project partner Are you having difficulty paying for medical and dental care? Eastport Healthcare can help. Depending on your income and family size, a sliding fee scale decides how much you and your family will pay for medical and dental services. For more information and required proof of income, call Elaine Abbott at Eastport Healthcare today at 853-0189. You can also ask for a sliding fee application at the front desk at Eastport Healthcare, 30 Boynton Street in Eastport. The number again is 853-0189. Eastport Healthcare is an equal opportunity employer and provider. The Sherrod Agency in Callis is an independent agency in business to serve you. Being an independent, they represent many different major companies, including Vermont Mutual, Patriot, Allstate, Foremost, Progressive, Dairyland, and Concord. And when you visit the Sherrod Agency, they know you, so they look for the right company to meet your needs. That's what friends do. Call the Sherrod Agency today at 454-7084 or visit them on North Street in Milltown, Maine. Do you have college credits and no degree? WCCC offers a $500 scholarship for adult students to return to college. With more than 28 degree programs and training opportunities, WCCC is preparing you for the workforce. Discover your path to completing a degree at WCCC by submitting a free application at wccc.me.edu and send us a copy of your transcripts. We'll review and contact you with a program that helps you complete your degree. WCCC is close to home affordable and committed to your success. Call 207-454-1000 or online at wccc.me.edu. Mired in mud in Metabamps? Stuck in snow in Sangerville? The best selection of all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles is at Downey's Toyota and Brewer. Tackle the main roads and weather and get there safely with all-wheel drive traction in the Sienna van, the versatile RAV4, or the Highlander. Shift her into four-wheel drive in the rugged 4Runner, take control in the Tundra, or the go-anywhere Tacoma. See all your choices at DowneysToyota.com. Wherever you are in Maine, all roads lead to Downey's Toyota on Wilson Street in Brewer. With Dunkin' Go-To's, you can get a great deal on two of your favorites, like two egg and cheese wraps for $2, two bagels with cream cheese spread for $4, and two bacon, egg, and cheese croissants for $5. In my opinion, it's a deal that's pretty tough to beat. That's just if you want my go-to sense. If you don't want my go-to sense, it's go-to late. Pick up your favorite Dunkin' Go-To's at Dunkin' on North Street in Callis and by the Dunkin' Majias. America runs on Dunkin'. And welcome back, everyone. Callis Ace to Callis trailing by five at halftime in a game that really, you looked at it about three minutes ago, you would have said, wow, this is 11 points, and a good timeout by Darren Constant, took it back to six straight points by Callis, get it back down to an eight-point game, back up to ten again, Mike, and then all of a sudden, another timeout by Coach Darren Constant, and the next thing you know, all of a sudden, it was back to a three-point ball game, right now at halftime, it's down to five, so Coach Constant's got to be happy with this. 
Yeah, I agree, Jim, 100%. If you're Coach Carson, you can't ask for anything more than this, what's going on. You know, uh, the Cal Blue Devils, one thing we've come to learn to, to expect with this team is they play hard, uh, and they're certainly doing that right now. I mean, Coach Carson has uh, called a couple uh, timely timeouts. They've responded very well. Uh, and for such a large team that GSA brings to the table, they're really a very guard-orientated team. They like to get out and run. Uh, of course, led by Caden Madsen, a uh, great, great ball player. The offense seems to run through him all the time, but they're not really taking advantage of that uh, of that size against a smaller Dallas team, which is, I think, benefits the Blue Devils. So uh, they don't want to let this Blue Devil team hang around because they're going to fight to the end. So anyway, we're going to go through some stats here. Uh, we'll start with the GS, GSA Eagles. Jeff, we got Caden Madsen leading the way. Great ball player. Like I said, he can beat you to the inside. He knows how to get to the hole and finish. He's got 16 first half points to go along with three boards and a steal. Uh, Michael Moon's also another quick player. They look to hit him on the break. He likes to get up and down the floor in a hurry. He's got nine points and three boards. Austin Snow had, uh, got a big three-pointer in the second quarter for three points. David Gatsby, uh, good minutes for Coach Carter off the bench. Uh, four points uh, uh, for Gatsby with three boards and a steal. And uh, Teague Smallwood's a big fella, uh, has four points and a couple of rebounds. Really kind of quiet so far. Callis done a very good job uh, on him. Uh as far as files for uh, GSA Eagles, uh, Sweets has got a couple, uh, and of course he's limited, a very good ball player for them. Coach uh, Carter's had him on the bench. I'm sure we'll hear a lot more of him in the second half. Uh, and Gatsby's got two. Other than that, the files are spread around pretty good. For the Blue Devils stats, 31 points through halftime here. Dawson Critchley having an awesome basketball game. Uh, he's been everywhere. Uh, he's done it on the glass. He's got 15 points. He's 5 for 5 from the line. Hit all of his foul shots. Uh, uh, he's got uh, a steal and five boards. Kyle Richards uh, got a field goal in the second quarter for two points. John Turner also very active tonight. He's got six points, two steals, and five boards. And Mason Ritchie really is a story against all that size. He's been battling down low, and he's had a great ball game so far. A really good presence inside, defensively and offensively. Had a great, he had, uh, he had eight points in the first half, six of those in the second quarter, along with five boards and a steal. Callis said, uh, foul department, really not many, not much to talk about. Uh, Richards has two, Dawson quickly has two. But other than that, uh, not a lot going in the foul department for Callis. So they're in pretty good shape going in the second half, you know, as we know they continue to play hard. Uh, moving through here, uh, new halftime, 31 Callis Blue Devils, 36 six for GSA Eagles. We'll be right back. Whether your energy needs are large or small, residential or commercial, propane may be the answer. For cooking, entire home, or space heating, clothes drying, or water heating, propane is clean, efficient, economical, and safe. If you need propane gas service in cylinder or in bulk at competitive prices, drop by or give us a call at VL Tamaro Oil. In Woodland, call 427-3775. In Callis, call 454-7500. Congratulations to all Washington County boys and girls high school basketball teams from your friends at Federal Marine Terminal in Eastport. Your accomplishments both on and off the court as well as the way you represent your school, your city, your town and all of Washington County makes us all very proud to be included as some of your many fans. Good luck to all student athletes in today's game and best of luck in your quest for the gold ball from your friends at Federal Marine Terminal in Eastport. Joe's Pizza, can I help you? Delivery? Sure, we deliver. Yep, deliver seven days a week. Not just a few days, but every day. Whether it's a freshly prepared Joe's Pizza or any Joe's Diner menu item, we deliver it seven days a week. Good food, great service, at family affordable prices. Dinner time, party time, any time. When you need delivery, call Joe's Diner and Pizzeria, 454-8400. That's 454-8400. Joe's, we deliver. WQDYFM. Callis, Maine, St. Stephen, New Brunswick, and WALZFM, Machias, Maine. Classic Hits 92.7 and 95.3. And welcome back, everyone, to Callis High School. We want to remind you that the first Callis player to hit a three point play in the second half will win a large. No. <laughs> three topping pizza compliments of Joe's Diner and Pizzeria, Main Street, and Callis. Now is a good time for you to call 454 8400 to have a pizza delivered to you during or after the game from Joe's Diner and Pizzeria of Callis with a basketball. 
And let's see, there's going to be a foul as George Stevens Academy came out with the ball. Quick foul is going to be called on Callis. Just underway here at Callis High School. And that is a big one. Is That's going to be on Dawson Christie. That's his third. With the basketball, balls will be stolen away. Christie with a steal. Five-point lead, 36-31 here at halftime with the basketball underneath. Shot's going to be up. Good on the foul. Wow, Mason Ritchie took it to the hole, laid it up for two, and draws the foul. And that's going to be a big one. Let's see. That's going to be on uh, Smallage. And that's his second. Chance for three-point play. Foul oh, shot's going to be good. Mason Ritchie. Not only you just put Callis within two, within one, excuse me. Also, that makes him a winner of a large three-topping pizza conference of Joe's Diner and Pizzeria Main Street in Callis with the basketball out on top. Sweet size shot's going to be off no good. Rebound by Callis. Critchley with the board. Back the other way we go. Callis has a chance to tie this up. Turner with it. Turner's running one hander in the paint. It's going to be off no good. Rebound by Moon. Quick outlet. Almost stolen away. Tapped out of bounds. Good hands that time by Richards. Is wide open underneath waiting for the ball was Austin Snow. Well, excuse me, was David Gatsby. Comes in. Gatsby with it. Gatsby. Hesitation move. Just it underneath. Tapped away. They'll pick back up by Sweetser. He's just back up. Fire the three and nails the three. And boys, they really missed him in that first half as he's on the bench with foul trouble. Back to a five-point ball game. Callis with the basketball. Is doubling with the basketball? Trying to trap outside. Someone's got to be open underneath baseline. Turner back out. He goes Richards for three. That's going to be off. No good. Long rebound is going to be chased down. Tapped out of bounds. It's going to be Callis' ball. It was a good hustle at that time by Mason Ritchie. Callis with the basketball underneath their own basket. With it, Critchley's going to put it in play. Comes in Turner. He's wide open for three. That's going to be off. No good. Rebound tapped around. Picked back up. And down behind the defense. Gatsby's going to lay it up for two. Gatsby cheating a little bit, and it paid dividends that time. Back to a seven-point lead. Callis with it. In the corner it goes to Richie. Back out he goes one more time to Critchley. Critchley back to Richie. Inside to Dana. Dana kicks it over the left-hand side. Loose on the floor. And the see tie-up's going to be Callis basketball. A few too many passes in the paint that time, especially against this tough George Stevens Academy defense. 6-11 to go in the third quarter. 41-34. Inbounds pass comes in. Shot's going to be blocked. Dana grabs the board. Puts it up again as it blocks one more time. And once again, behind the defense, Gatsby. Oh, a little bit of a travel there. Dragged the pivot foot. Fisher did not see it. Back the other way. Three-pointer. And the foul on Callis. Wow. Sweets have nailed the three, and he got fouled as well. Wow. Yeah, there was a travel, like two or three travels as he dragged his pivot for it two or three times. The official didn't call it. And Darren Constance yelling down to the official saying, why wasn't there a travel call before that? Chance for a four-point play right here. And it's good. Sweets it with a four-point play. And quickly, just that easy, it was down to a two-point game. But nine straight points rattled off here by George Stevens Academy. Brings it up to an 11-point lead for them. Baseline it goes to Richie. Richie, nowhere to go. To Turner. Turner in the corner. Kind of trapped in the corner right now. He's going to have to get rid of it. And there's going to be a timeout on the court. 5.38 to go here in this third quarter. 45-34. We're back to Callis High School after this. Congratulations to all Washington County boys and girls high school basketball teams from your friends at Federal Marine Terminal in Eastport. Your accomplishments both on and off the court as well as the way you represent your school, your city, your town, and all of Washington County makes us all very proud to be included as some of your many fans. Good luck to all student athletes in today's game and best of luck in your quest for the gold ball from your friends at Federal Marine Terminal in Eastport. Welcome back to the one at Callis High School. Jeff Demons, Mike Ellis here. As we saw Callis bring this back up to a 36 to 34 game and since then nine straight points by the George Stevens Academy Eagles and Callis has been able to stop these runs by George Stevens Academy so far in this game they're going to have to continue to do it if they want to stay in this ball game we know what kind of scoring 
George Stevens Academy can do is they can light it up from about anywhere. Back the other way, Turner for three. That's going to be off, no good. Rebound ripped down by Dana, Tony Dana with the board. In the paint, shots can be blocked off, no good. Tapped around, still loose on the floor, picked up by George Stevens Academy. Back the other way, they're going to want to run. Matson with it, keeps it in the corner. Gatsby's outside, shots going to be off, no good. Rebound, tapped around, picked up by Moon. Out on top, Sweet says for three is going to be no good. Underneath, up left-handed shot's going to be off, no good. Back up again by Matson for two. A lot of looks that time by George Stevens, the third or fourth shot. They made it pay. Their biggest lead of the ball game right now is 13. With the basketball is Callis Turner with it. Triple teamed out there. Gonna have to find someone. He does. Gets rid of it just in time. Wow, that's gonna be a foul there. And that is a foul. You have one official out here looking at the play, and the official underneath made the call. Yeah, someone down below us said play on. Well, the guy could have, but he had to get up off the floor first. Kind of hard to play on when you're laying on your back. With the basketball is Callis. Chris Lee with it. Chris Lee out on top. He goes to Richards. Back over to Turner. Back to Chris Lee. Looking for the open shot. Back over on top to Turner. Back to Chris Lee one more time. Tries to get by one defender, and he's going to be fouled again. That last foul was on Gatsby. That was his third. This one here is going to be on number three, Moon. That's going to be the third foul on George Stevens Academy. Only the second foul on Moon. Cows with two fouls here in this third quarter so far. With the basketball is Richards. Richards out on top. He goes to Turner. Set play right inside. Chris Lee nowhere to go. Cows not forcing it. Looking for the good look. A little bit behind them that time. The ball was thrown away. With the basketball is going to be George Stevens Academy. 4-12 to go here in this third quarter at Callis High School, 47-34. George Stevens up by 13 with the ball, left-hand side. Now they're going to work it around, out on top. Sweet said, penetrate, shots up, good, and the foul. And Sweet says, really feeling it right now. He said, I missed about seven minutes in that first half, and I want to make up for it right now. And that puts them up 49 to 34. That foul is going to be on Callis's number 12. That's Tony Dana. That's going to be his third. So foul starting to add up for Callis. Suiza, chance for a three-point play. That's going to be off no good. Rebound pulled down by Callis. Chrisley with the board gives it off to Turner. Look to push it back the other way, trailing by 15. Richards for three from the corner. That's going to be off no good. Callis having a hard time from beyond the arc right now. And they're trying to shoot the threes to get them back into this ball game. Not able to do it right now. Small H from the foul line is good. And with that, there's going to be a timeout on the court. 51 to 34. 335 to go in the third quarter. We're back to Callis High School after this. With multiple projects going on at any one time, Nick Voltolina and the crew at MV Construction are always on the go. But if they don't have the materials they need when they need them, production grinds to a halt. Hammond Lumber Company's prompt deliveries and stand-up customer service helps keep their projects on track. I'm Nick Voltolina with MV Construction. We affiliated ourselves with Hammond Lumber about seven years ago, and we exclusively use them on all of our building products. Hammond Lumber service has been impeccable before, during, and after the sale. You go in the store, they all know you. They're all willing to lend a helping hand, whether it's your salesman or not. With five to eight projects going on a daily basis, Hammond Lever has the ability to deliver to our multiple projects all at once. It helps suit our needs, and it helps the efficiency of NB Construction's final product. Whether you're a homeowner, do-it-yourselfer, or a professional like Nick Voltolina, keep your project on schedule with help from Hammond Lumber, your building project partner. Welcome back, everyone, to Callis High School. Jeff Demons, Mike Ellis here. 3.35 to go in the third quarter, and George Stevens Academy is starting to pull away. Coach Darren Constant says, let's see if we have one more run in us here in this third quarter. They're trailing by 17, as right now, believe it or not, 15 straight points rattled off by George Stevens Academy because it was 36 to 34, two-point ball game. The ball's going to be stolen away with a basketball. Snow takes it down. Ball stolen back by Callis. And that's going to be a foul on George Stevens Academy. And that is going to be on Suiza. As he puts his hands over his face, laying on the floor. 
He said, what did I get him with my nose? <laughs> That's going to be his third foul. He's played quite a few minutes here with two fouls. He picks up his third right now, and the coach is saying, okay, you don't want to pick up your fourth. We need you in this ball game because he's a big, big reason why George Stevens Academy is right now leading by 17. In the corner it goes. Out on top now to Turner. Turner. And the ball's going to be stolen away, and that's going to be a foul in the backcourt on Callis. And that was a good foul right there on Turner. As that was going to be a fast break layup if he did not commit that foul after the turnover. Best of all, that's only his first foul, only the fourth foul on Callis. So George Stevens Academy will get the basketball. And right now they're going to bring in Jace Cook for Dana. And right now they're saying, okay, we're going to have to fire up some shots from outside. We're going to have to make some shots. Cook can make the shots from outside. The only problem is, is this defense for George Stevens Academy. You've got to wonder if he's going to be able to get free to get one. Is they're not letting anybody have a wide open look right now. Smallish with the basketball for George Stevens. Now it goes to Madsen. Madsen trying to get back over. Ball's going to be stolen away by Callis. Richie with the steal. Back the other way with it. Dawson Critchley still with the dribble. To Turner. Turner. Baseline it goes. Richie nowhere to go. He's going to have to get it back out. Ball's loose. Picked back up. And let's see. Bodies everywhere. First down. And they're going to call a tie-up. Alternate possession will be George Stevens Academy. And with that moon, we'll check back into the ball game. Sweet Cell will get a break. Inbounds pass comes in to Moon. Moon pressured in the backcourt by Cook. Now it goes to Snow. Across midcourt with it. Matson. Matson running one hander in the paint. Floater is going to be off. No good. Gets his own rebound. Back up. No good. Gets his own rebound one more time. He's just padding his stats right now. Three pointer. There's going to be a travel before the three pointers. He shuffled his steps, shuffled his feet. Goes over at the official and says, Looks over at the coach, and the coach said, yeah, I think you did too. So both teams slowed down here in the last minute and a half. Callis with the basketball now, trying to get something going as they came out and scored three straight points. Got it down to a two-point ball game, but it's been all George Stevens Academy since then. Three-pointer is going to be fired up that time by Turner, and that's a big basket for Callis. He's back down to a 14-point ball game. Still plenty of time. Back the other way. Three-pointer by Snow is going to be off no good. Snow says, you didn't give me the last one. I'm going to try one more. But it was no good. So Cal's with the ball. Richards over to Turner. Turner. Running one-hander in the paint. It's going to be off no good. Went through the defense. Couldn't get it to fall. Back the other way with it is George Stevens Academy's Madsen. Minute 20 to go in this third quarter. 51-37, 14-point advantage for the George Stevens Academy Eagles. Coming in with a record of 8-0, ranked number two, Northern Maine, Class C. They say, okay, we're content to just slow this down a little bit. Or are they? Maybe they're trying to lull the callous defense to sleep. We're down to a minute to go in this third quarter. With it on the far side is Moon. Back out to Madison. They're taking quite a bit of time. Moon's going to get... Wow! I was going to say, that's going to be a play of control. It's the official underneath that stood there watching that one. The outside official said, yeah, that's going to be player control. And let's see, there's going to be a sub coming in for Callis. Richie will get a break. Dana will come back into the ball game with three fouls. 51-37 with the basketball is Critchley. Critchley gets it underneath to Dana. Dana, bounce pass goes over, top of the bounce, Callis ball. So Cal's will have the basketball underneath their own basket, trailing by 14. And with that, there's going to be a timeout on the court. 51 37, 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. We're back after this on Cal's Classic Hits. Delivering on a promise to keep families comfortable year round. That's Dead River Company, family owned for over 100 years and proud to serve all of Washington County with reliable heating oil and propane delivery. 24 hour responsive emergency service and energy efficient heating equipment installation. Dead River Company. When you need us, we'll be there. With offices serving Washington County in Callis, Machias, and Eastport, find us online at deadriver.com. 
Welcome back, everyone, to Callis High School. Jeff Demons and Mike Callis here. 40.8 seconds to go here in this third quarter. George Stevens Academy was leading 36 to 31 at halftime. Callis came out, headed to 36-34. Then it was all George Stevens Academy until a three-pointer by Turner. Inbox pass comes in, loose on the floor. Richards hustles, grabs a loose ball. Cook for three. That's going to be off. No good. Rebound tapped around. Still tapped around this time. Almost thrown away, but picked up by Smallage for George Stevens. We're down to 25 seconds to go in the third quarter. 51-37. Madsen with it. Gives it on the baseline. Back out they go. Moon with it. Looks like they're going to play for one. Moon still with it. Basketball. Out on top. Madsen with it. We're down to 12 seconds. He gets the screen out on top. Takes it in the paint. Running one hand here. He's going to be off. No good. Callis with the board. Turner with it. They're going to have to hurry. And he's going to fire one up. Wow, he still had some more time there as that went out of bounds. We played three quarters, 51-37. George Stevens Academy by 14. We're back after these on Classic Hits. Are you having difficulty paying for medical and dental care? Eastport Healthcare can help. Depending on your income and family size, a sliding fee scale decides how much you and your family will pay for medical and dental services. For more information and required proof of income, call Elaine Abbott at Eastport Healthcare today at 853-0189. You can also ask for a sliding fee application at the front desk at Eastport Healthcare, 30 Boynton Street in Eastport. The number again is 853-0189. Eastport Healthcare is an equal opportunity employer and provider. Eastern Maine Electric Co-op is a customer-owned, not-for-profit electric utility. That means decisions are made by and for people whose lives are invested in the communities we serve. But your locally owned co-op is also part of a national network of electric co-ops serving three-quarters of the country's landmass. By sharing resources and expertise, these co-ops can not only cut costs and improve service, but also offer programs like the Co-op Connections Card, which has saved EMEC members over $350,000 on prescriptions alone. Eastern Maine Electric, locally owned and proudly serving Maine for over 70 years. Welcome back everyone to Callis High School. Jeff Demons, Mike Callis getting ready here for the fourth quarter at Callis High School. 51-37, it'll be Callis basketball. They're going to have to try to fight their way back in. And with that, Sweetser is back into the ball game. As George Stevens Academy, of course, wants to try to put this away in the next two or three minutes. Callis wants no part of that. Turner with it. Out on top it goes to Cook. Baseline to Richards. Richards going to bring it back out on top. Back over it goes to Cook. Now back to Richards. Turner on the far side. With the basketball. Callis shot. Chris Lee's on be off. No good. Rebound by Sweetsa. Back the other way we go. Sweetsa left hand side for three. Gatsby's shot's going to be off. No good. Rebound. Sweetsa up and good. 53 to 37. is going to have to get some points on the board in a hurry to get back into this contest. And with it, Critchley now left hand side. He goes to Turner. Turner in the paint. Shot's going to be off no good. Sweets it with the board. He's going to lose the handle. It's going to be Callis' ball. Whoa. No, they're not going to give it to Callis. They're going to give it to George Stevens Academy. Now we're not sweets his leg. With a basketball will be Matson. Matson is going to take his time, brings it up, crosses midcourt, left hand side. It goes Gatsby. Gatsby in the paint, dishes it underneath. Shot's going to be up and good by Smallage. Good job that time, Gatsby. Drew the defender over. Smallage left him open underneath for two, up to an 18 point advantage. Biggest lead of the ball game once again for George Stevens Academy. 6.27 to go here in this contest. Turner takes it in, off glass and good. Quickly behind the defense that time. Gatsby's going to put it up. Oh, no good. Had it wide open. Missed the layup. Looked for a foul, and there was no foul. He just missed it. Out the other way. Richards for three. That's good. Five straight points. Callis has one more run. Let's see if they can get back into this game. We're down to a 13-point lead. Five straight by Callis. Back the other way. Shot's going to be up and good that time by Gatsby. Gatsby says, no, I don't think so. Not on my watch. 57-42, 15-point advantage. Turner gets it in the corner to Richards. Richards gets the screen from Turner. Back over goes Turner. 
Still with the dribble, all the way out on top. He works it around the perimeter. Bounce pass goes over to Critchley. Critchley back out. Now Richards in the corner for three more. And that shot's going to be no good, but rebound for Callis. Up and good that time by Dawson Critchley. Credit Richie with the board. Critchley with the basket. Back they go. And let's say that's going to be a foul on Callis. And that's going to be on the pass. So that's number five on Callis on this second half. And that's going to be on Tony Dana. That's going to be his fourth. And with that, there's going to be a timeout on the court. 57-44, George Stevens on top of Callis by 13. We're back after this on Classic Hits. Delivering on a promise to keep families comfortable year-round. That's Dead River Company, family-owned for over 100 years and proud to serve all of Washington County with reliable heating oil and propane delivery, 24-hour responsive emergency service, and energy-efficient heating equipment installation. Dead River Company. When you need us, we'll be there. With offices serving Washington County in Callis, Machias, and Eastport, find us online at deadriver.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Callis High School. Jeff Dennis, Mike Callis, 515 to go in this contest. 57-44. And Coach Dwayne Carter says, okay, we're going to slow things down maybe a little bit here. Callis... Was it down by 18, and it's back down right now to 13. Callis, of course, would love to get this to single digit. Shot's going to be off no good, but an offensive board that time by Sweetser. Brings it back up to 15, so a quick shot by Moon was no good. Callis with the basketball. High post goes to Dana, right inside to Richards. Richards is going to be fouled out on top. And that foul is going to be on number 15, Gadsby. That's going to be number four, I believe, on him. It is. Six foul on George Stevens Academy, so the next one to put Callis in the bonus. 4.58 to go. It's a 15-point lead right now for George Stevens Academy. High post it goes to Dana. Right around the right-hand side, three-pointer, and that's going to be blocked by Sweetsa. Loose on the floor, picked back up, foul, and that's going to be a foul on Small Edge. George Stevens Academy had the rebound, but they just, Callis reached in, grabbed it, and as they did, Tony Dana grabbed it, put a head fake on, got Switzer in the air, do the foul. He's going the line for two. 4.45 to go in this contest. 59-44, 15-point advantage. Dana's first one's going to be good. He'll have one more. Snow will check in as Gatsby will check out for George Stevens Academy. Now we're set. Dana has one more. 59-45. Second one's also good. Shooters roll on both of those. Back to a 13-point ball game. Cal's going to put some full-court pressure on. They say now or never. Never. Underneath. Shot's going to be up and good. Broken easily. Snow's going to lay it in for two. Check that moon, I mean. Laid that in for two. Quickly outside. Shot's going to be off. No good. And I see out of bounds is going to be Callis basketball. Good job that time by Mason Ritchie. Critchley will put it in play underneath their basket. Trailing by 15, 61, 46. Cutting in the paint. Ball's loose on the floor now. Picked up by George Stevens. Tapped out of bounds. It's going to be Callis Ball. It's good job that time by Turner as he knocked it off Austin Snow's knee in front of the zoo. So if the official didn't call it, the zoo was going to call it. Comes in on the far side with it, out on top to Turner. Back over it goes. Richards to Richie. Almost all the way, loose on the floor. Cal is going to come away with it. Turner, Turner gets by one defender. Turner's going to kick it over to Richards. Thought about the three, doesn't take it. Back over to Turner. 15-point lead right now. A lot of time going off the clock. Three-pointer by Critchley. He's going to be off no good. Rebound, pulled down by Smallage. And you've got to fire those up. Chris, did the right thing. Because they got to get back into this ball game. One and done that time by George Stevens. A quick, quick shot. Kind of surprising. All the way down he goes. Rich is with it. He's going to draw the foul. And he'll be going to the line for a one and one, I believe. Let's see. That foul's going to be on Matson. 
It's going to be a one and one for Callis. So with 3.30 to go, clock is stopped. 61-46, 15 point lead for George Stevens Academy. On the line will be Richards, Kyle Richards, a senior. Front end of the one and one's good. He'll have one more. 61-47, 14 point advantage, Richie. Richards takes his time. Second one's going to be no good. It's going to be a violation. So it'll be George Stevens Academy basketball with a 14-point lead and the ball. Matson with it. Matson tries to get by one defender. Ball's going to be stolen away by Dana. Dana's going to get it down. With it is Critchley. Critchley gets by one defender. Puts it up for two. 61-49, Callis, do they have one more run in them? They've got it down to an 11, a 12-point lead right now. And with that, there's going to be a timeout on the court. 3-0-3 to go, 61-49. We're back to Callis High School after these. If you're searching for an oil company large enough to meet your heating needs, yet small enough to provide you with that personalized service, call the VL Tamaro Oil Company. There's a family-owned and operated full-service company. At VL Tamaro, we believe that offering our customers quality products at a fair price is standard. But the personalized service you receive is truly what separates us from the big guys. The VL Tamaro Oil Company. Let our family keep your family warm now and for years to come. Call or stop by today in Woodland at 427-3775 or in Canada. Alice at 454-7500. Joe's Pizza, can I help you? Delivery? Sure, we deliver. Yep, deliver seven days a week. Not just a few days, but every day. Whether it's a freshly prepared Joe's Pizza or any Joe's Diner menu item, we deliver it seven days a week. Good food, great service, at family affordable prices. Dinner time, party time, any time. When you need delivery, call Joe's Diner and Pizzeria. 454-8400. That's 454-8400. Joe's, we deliver. And you can have a Joe's Pizza delivered to you right now by calling 454-8400. Good time to be sitting down after the game. Here, a knock on your door. Here's your pizza. 454-8400 for a Joe's Pizza. They deliver. With the basketball, George Stevens Academy, 61-49. Let's see if they take a little bit of time off the clock. They're going to make Callis come out. Callis with the basketball. Matson gets it in the corner. And they're going to take some time off, it looks like they are. They're running a little bit of a weave out front. Everybody's touched it so, so, so far, except for Mike and I. Underneath they go. Back it goes to Snow. They're going to work it around the perimeter. Moon touched it. Now it's Sweetsa. Sweetsa's going to try to get it inside. He does. Back to a cut. He's up and good by Moon. Moon got behind the defense, laid it up for two. They took 30 seconds off the clock. Plus, they also scored a basket, so it's back to a 14-point ball game. Turner with it. Turner's going to get it all the way out to Dana. Dana bounce pass right to force it underneath. Ball's going to be stolen away. Sweets it with a steal. He's going to push it all the way. Bounce pass over. Shot's going to be up and good by Moon again. Two straight baskets by Moon. Two straight assists by Sweetsa after the timeout by Coach Dwayne Carter. Brings it back up to a 16-point lead. Comes into Dana. Dana gives it back out. Chris Lee for three. It's going to be off no good. Rebound picked up by Moon. Gets it all the way down to Gatsby. Gatsby says, no, I don't like the numbers one on two, especially when we have a 16-point lead in the ball with a minute 40 to go. Now it's Snow, back out to Sweetsa. Cameron Kelly will check in for Callis at the next opportunity. Sweetsa backs up, takes a shot. That's going to be no good. And the coach is saying, yeah, that was not the shot we wanted to take. He didn't want to back up and a couple dribbles back for a three when you're up by that. And quickly coming in for Callis will be all kinds of stuff. We'll see. We're going to have another time on the court. 65-49. We're back after this on Classic Hits. Congratulations to all Washington County boys and girls high school basketball teams from your friends at Federal Marine Terminal in Eastport. Your accomplishments both on and off the court as well as the way you represent your school, your city, your town, and all of Washington County makes us all very proud to be included as some of your many fans. Good luck to all student athletes in today's game and best of luck in your quest for the gold ball from your friends at Federal Marine Terminal in Eastport. 
Eastern Maine Electric Co-op is a customer-owned, not-for-profit electric utility. That means decisions are made by and for people whose lives are invested in the communities we serve. But your locally owned co-op is also part of a national network of electric co-ops serving three-quarters of the country's land mass. By sharing resources and expertise, these co-ops can not only cut costs and improve service, but also offer programs like the Co-op Connections Card, which has saved EMEC members over $350,000 on prescriptions alone. Eastern Maine Electric, locally owned and proudly serving Maine for over 70 years. Welcome back, everyone, to Callis High School. Jeff Demons, Mike Jealous here, 130 to go here in this contest. 65 49, 16 point advantage. And into the ball game now for Callis is Tyler Furtek. Outside for three is Cook. Jace Cook also into the ball game, as is Sebastian Moore. Cameron Kelly in there, and John Furtek into the ball game for Callis. And the paint it goes. That's going to be tapped out of bounds. It's going to be Callis basketball. And let's see, that was not away from behind as the outside official comes over. And let's see. I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay. I think that's the right call, too. I believe that was off Callis. So they give it to George Stevens Academy. Inbounds pass comes in. Brown, and that's going to be a travel call. George Stevens Academy also with some new players in. His Mullins into the ball game. Ryan Mullen, also Dexter Brown, into the ball game. Nick Steinberger. Bryce Snyder. Lob underneath to Kelly. Kelly back out to Cook. Cook for three. That's going to be off no good. Rebound ball tapped around. Loose. Picked up this time by Snyder for George Stevens Academy. Also, Harrison Walden into the game for George Stevens. That's going to be a travel. Another turnover for George Stevens Academy. Gives Callis the ball back with 42.8 seconds to go. 65 to 52. It's a 13 point advantage. And Callis just was not looking for the pass that time. Tried to set a play, I think, and they weren't looking for the pass, so the ball goes out of play, and he goes back to George Stevens Academy. With the basketball is Mullen. Mullen over to Walden. Walden out on top. It goes to Schneider. Back now to Brown. Out on top. Everyone's touch it is Steinberger. Outside shot's going to be off no good. Rebound. Let's see. Tapped out of bounds. Last touch by Callis. So with 18.6 seconds to go, it'll be George Stevens Academy's basketball underneath their own basket. Comes in with a basketball. Steinberger with it. Gets it back out. Mullen kicks it over the right hand side. Bounce pass goes inside. Shot's going to be off. No good. Steinberger back. Blocked by Kelly. Kelly with the rebound. Kelly with the ball, Kelly with the rebound, back the other way with the basketball. A long three at the buzzer is going to be no good. And George Stevens Academy is going to move their record up to 9-0 with a 65-52 victory over the Callis Blue Devils. They're going to fall to 3-5. We'll be back with our final stats in our Callis High School Duncan teammate of the game after these. Delivering on a promise to keep families comfortable year-round. That's Dead River Company, family-owned for over 100 years and proud to serve all of Washington County with reliable heating oil and propane delivery. 24-hour responsive emergency service and energy-efficient heating equipment installation.